There's more help on the way for victims of domestic violence. WDRB's Lawrence Smith explains how new technology is going to help investigators. Lawrence. Well, when domestic violence victims come here to U of L's emergency room, their wounds are not always obvious. But now there's new hope for justice. Crime labs like this one routinely process evidence to help prosecute sexual assault cases. But in those cases of domestic violence in which there is no rape, evidence is sometimes difficult to find. Strangulation wounds, for example, are not always obvious. A lot of times the um, strangulation was not significant enough to break enough blood vessels to, to cause excessive swelling or bleeding. Often they're not able to prosecute. They're not believed because this is a cycle and a lot of times victims return due to the fact that they're economically entrapped. But that will soon change thanks to a $15,000 grant from Verizon Wireless to Kentucky One and U L Hospital to purchase this device called an Alumacam. We will be able to collect forensic evidence that could assist in prosecution of all types of domestic violence cases, regardless of whether sexual assault, uh, sexual abuse has occurred. As this photo illustrates, the LED camera can detect and photograph bruises under the skin's surface that would not normally be visible. We want to be able to capture the bleeding that's under the skin that is not prominent enough to see, and that's what the UV light and the camera is going to help us to do. Now, when domestic violence victims are brought into this exam room, already filled with evidence gathering tools, the new technology will reveal what's hidden and help put abusers behind bars. This is an opportunity for them to say, if you're ready to leave and take care of you and your children, we will support you with the uh, forensic evidence for you to actually prosecute your batterer and hold him accountable. Now the grant not only buys new equipment, but also helps cover the cost of the forensic exam for domestic violence victims. Live outside UofL Hospital, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News. Lawrence, thank you. They